You guys requested it, so I'm making a video on it today. I've been making a bunch of your guys' gorilla tag characters in LEGO, and a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on how I made the gorillas. So today I'm just gonna make a simple video on just how I built the basic gorillas, and maybe how to attach a few cosmetics. Before we get into it, make sure that you guys do subscribe, because I'm planning on putting out a lot more LEGO Gorilla Tag content. If you haven't already seen the videos where I made this mock, and this mock, make sure you go check them out in the link in the description. Anyways guys, let's get, take a look at all the pieces we're going to need to build our little gorillas. Here's all the pieces that you will need for your build. You can go ahead and pause um, if you want to go ahead and go grab all of these pieces. These pieces of course can be in any color, um, except these gray pieces here need to be in gray. And all the other ones um, can be any color you'd like depending on what color gorilla you want to make. Alrighty guys, so the first piece you're going to want to go ahead and grab is your four one by ones with the hole in the middle. Um, we're going to start off by just grabbing two and then you're also going to take your black Technic pin and you're just going to put the Technic pin in the hole so that you've got something like that and then you're going to take one of your other um, one by ones with the hole and put it on the other side. So it should look like a one by two um, with the Technic pin of course going straight through the whole thing and then you're going to go ahead and make another one of those. Once you have both of those made, we're going to go ahead and grab our 1x2 jumper piece and you're gonna take one of your um, small builds we built earlier and just put it on like that and take your other one like that so you ha should have something that looks kind of like this you should have technique pins on both sides and these two should be able to move just like that Next piece you're going to want to grab is a 1x2 plate, and we're going to take it and put it on the bottom of our build center, so you ha should have something that looks kind of like this. Now one thing I do recommend um, while you're building your monkey, just an example, like I have a brown monkey, but I'm going to have different shades of brown. So depending on what color you're doing, you could just go ahead and maybe do some varieties of that color in your monkey. Alright, moving on, we're going to grab our bracket, our upward facing bracket. And we're going to put that on the bottom right under that plate that we just attached. So you should have something like this. And if we turn it around, it looks just like that. Now we're going to take our two by two round tile in light gray. And we're just going to put it on that on the front of that bracket there. So our monkey has a little belly. Now we've got the main torso part done. So we're going to go ahead and build the arms. First off, we're going to go ahead and grab a one by one brick and then we're going to go ahead and grab a one by one plate you're going to attach the plate to the bottom of the brick just like that and then we're going to take our monkey body and attach that on one of the arms so now your monkey has one arm we're just going to go ahead and replicate that for the other side and now the monkey has two arms Next thing we're going to do is go grab two one by one tiles and put them on the shoulders of the monkey to kind of just flush it out a little bit. Now you should have a build looking something like this. The back should look just like that, pretty flat. And then the front, the arms should be able to go all around because of those Technic pins that we put in earlier. Now we're going to move our body off to the side and we're going to start building the head. So our first piece for our head is going to be this brick with studs on all sides. Once you got that, we're going to go ahead and take a one by one brick just like this and put it on the top. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the face. So you're going to grab your one by two um, plate that is in light gray and a one by two tile in light gray. And you're going to want to take them and attach it so that the tile is centered on the front of the face plate, just like that. So you should have something that looks like this. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our one by one tile. And we're going to put that in the open stud on the front. So you should have a face that looks like this. And then from the back, it looks like that. It's kind of like a T-shape. We can go ahead and attach that to one of the studs on 
our build before so you should have something like this there should still be three studs open um, and then the top stud and then the bottom anti stud along with the face now we can go ahead and we're gonna go grab our one by two slope piece and a one by one plate you're gonna put the one by one plate inside the slope piece so you have something like this we're gonna go ahead and build another one of those and then after that you're gonna go back grab your face and you see these studs on the sides you want to make sure that the thicker part of your slope, so that would be this side, is connected to the stud, so you have something like that. One thing I do like to do is I like to slant them a little bit forward until they hit the front of the face. I think it just makes the head look more round. You can go to the other side again, grab, find the thicker part of your slope, and then put that part on the stud, and then you can just push it forward a little bit. Now our gorilla is almost done. We just have one more piece to add. We're going to turn it around grab a one by two tile in your color and place it on the back of the gorilla's head. Now we can go ahead and put the head on top of the body. Of course, that anti stud is gonna go right there on the jumper and you've built yourself a Lego gorilla tag gorilla. Now that we've built ourselves a gorilla, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to attach some cosmetics. The first cosmetic is pretty straightforward. Um, it's just any type of hat, now you can, no matter how you um, build it it can go on pretty much the same way either you can just simply take it if it's a brick built hat and just put it on the top of the head or if it is a hat meant for a minifigure for example like this top hat it doesn't exactly fit on because it's meant to have a minifigure head in there you can just take a stud of whatever color fits best put it inside and then you can attach it on top same thing with things like cowboy hats but they won't fit without that extra stud there. Now for arm cosmetics, this one's very, very simple. You're just gonna go to one of the arms, and whichever arm you want to have the cosmetic, we're gonna use this arm over here. You're just gonna take off majority of the arm, make sure that plate comes off, and now you just should have the brick. We're gonna remove that brick, and we're gonna replace it with this one by one brick um, with this stud on the front, and then you can just put that there, and we're just replacing it, and then the tile can go on the bottom. Now your monkey should have an open stud, and that can be used to, pl to place arm cosmetics on the arm. Now if it's a cosmetic that doesn't have a stud on it, for example, what if we want to put this magic wand on the monkey's arm? You could always stick it in like that, but that would look a little goofy. So we can just go ahead and grab one of these little clip pieces that has the bar and then the clip. You can just take it and put the bar in there. And then you can take your magic wand or whatever holdable you have and put it on the arm and then it looks like it's just simply attached to the monkey's arm. Our next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a back cosmetic. Now for back cosmetics it's going to require a few pieces so I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the pieces now so you can go get those if you would like to make a back cosmetic. So these are the three pieces you're going to need to make a back cosmetic. We have another one those um, one by two bracket pieces and then um, this one by one little clip and then a two by two jumper. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your bracket and jumper, put the jumper on the front of the bracket so you have something like this, and then take your clip and put it on the jumper just like that. Now to attach to your monkey, you're gonna need to kind of do some deconstruction of him. Um, this tile down here, or sorry, this plate down here that we put just above the bracket is what we need to remove. So you can um, get in there any way you want, but make sure that you get this, this plate that we put on earlier. You wanna get that out so that your monkey looks like this. You have the bracket and then you have the Technic bricks. So we're gonna go ahead and take our little contraption that we built earlier and put the bracket on the bottom so that the jumper and the clip is at the back of the monkey and not the front. And then you can go ahead and take the belly of the monkey and put it right back where it was. Now we have a monkey with a clip on his back. So we can go ahead and grab a back cosmetic like this flag and simply clip it on his back. And you can also rotate it if you want, just like it is in the game. Now next, to give our monkey a badge, it's very simple. It requires um, some pieces that aren't very common, but um, we're going to go ahead and get them anyways. So these are the only pieces we're going to need to build the badge. This heart over here is just meant to represent one of the badges. This is very interchangeable um, with any piece that you want to represent your badge. So you can pause and go ahead and go grab these pieces. 
So to start off with building our badge, we're going to have to take off one piece, and it's just going to be the monkey's belly piece, and that's the only piece we're going to take off. And then we can go ahead and start building. First, you want to get the 1x2 tile with the rounded edges, and we're just going to place it on the side of the monkey right there, just like that. Then we're going to take the 1x1 one one tile with the rounded edges and put it right there, so you kind of have this Pac-Man looking shape. Then you can grab your 1x1 one one plate and put it in that empty spot, and then go ahead and grab whatever badge you had and put it on that stud, and then your monkey has a badge. Now, if you're wanting to do it where there's a badge kind of in the center, like the bow tie, um, you're going to do a very similar build, except the only pieces you're going to need is this same 1x2 round plate along with this 1x2 round jumper plate. So it's the same piece as this one, except it has a stud on it, um, and that's just going to go on the top there, and then this one's just going to go on the bottom. And then you can get your badge. Um, I'm just going to use the heart one again and you can put it in the center if it's something like the bow tie which i use this piece to represent it makes more sense because the bow tie is a badge that's in the center of the chest that was how to build my lego gorilla tag gorilla comment down below if you liked this build or if there's any modifications you think i can make to it also thank you for all the support that's been going on with my new gorilla tag videos if you want to check out any of my LEGO Gorilla Tag mocks or my Gorilla Tag YouTube channel, you can check them out either in the description or on the end screen now. And as always guys, thank you for watching.